Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Prince Automation Destination. This said Prince. So in our previous lecture, we introduced Maven and discussed about the various components of Maven. In case you are not aware on what is Maven and what are the various components of Maven, I would request you to please check out my previous video. I'll be sharing the link of same in the i icon. And in today's lecture, we'll be covering how to install Maven in Windows machine. So in order to install Maven, we should have Java version 1.8 or greater than 1.8 installed in our system. And we should have Java home setup right in the environment variables, right? In my case, I'm using JDK 17. So let me show you the same. So Java hyphen hyphen version. So you will see that 17.0.8 is installed. While if I'll check Maven version, so it will say MVN is not recognized because Maven is not installed. So in order to install Maven, now first of all, we need to download the Maven and then we need to set the Maven home in the system environment variables. Once we have set up Maven underscore home in the system environment variables, next thing is we need to add the bin location of Maven in the path variable of system environment variable and then we will be able to install the maven and we will confirm the same using the mvn hyphen version command right so in order to download maven version so what we can use so this this is the site that we can use we'll be sharing the link of same let me open chrome browser and if i'll go here right and let me maximize it so downloading apache maven 3.9.9 so if you'll observe maven 3.9 plus requires jdk 8 or above this is what i have just mentioned so we are going to use 3.9.9 which is the latest release so in order to download it what we need to do we need to click on this binary zip archive in case of windows so i have already downloaded it right you can download in your case i have downloaded it and kept it into the c drive so let me open c drive and inside it i have created one maven folder and inside this i have unzipped it and this is the location right so the next thing is what i have need, what i need to do i need to copy this location right up till this location i need to copy it and open the system environment variable so for that first purpose i'm just pressing windows key and typing in edit edit the system environment variables and then after we need to click on environment variables and here in the system variables what we need to do we need to click on new and we need to provide maven underscore home right and here we can provide the location right so let us copy the maven home right so we have provided the location till here right next thing is we need to search for one variable which is path right i am going to click on this path so i have double clicked here and then we can click here right or we can click on edit so either we can edit or we can click on new so when we click on new what we need to do we need to provide percentage maven percent maven underscore home percentage so we are pointing to maven home and then after we need to provide bin right because we want to navigate to this particular bin location right so maven home we are reading from the system environment variable and then after using bin we are providing this location right so this is how we can provide or configure the maven home and further we can point it to the bin right now let me click on okay okay and again okay right so if i'll go here and type in mvn hyphen version it will again say mvn is not recognized because we are using the older version of cmd so let me open the newer version of cmd right so mvn hyphen version right so as soon as i have typed in ambient hyphen version so this time i'm able to see that maven version is set up and this is the maven home location this is java version right so this is how we can install maven in the windows machine and in the next lecture we'll be covering how to create a maven project what is the default directory structure and so on so this is what i wanted to cover as part of current lecture Thank you for watching. I would request you to please like, share and subscribe. Thank you once again.